There is finally hope for all of us affected by the coronavirus outbreak. A light at the end of the tunnel in the form of a COVID-19 vaccine. Today, some of the first people in Hampton Roads were inoculated. Healthcare workers at Centera Norfolk General Hospital. We brought you the moment live when hospital administrators gave that vaccine to the first employee. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam was on hand to witness. Tunnel on your side, Tamara Scott was also there and is live outside Norfolk General Hospital with the details. Well, we spoke with Yolanda DeMoss today and she was the first to receive the vaccine. She told us that she read up on it, she prayed about it, but she didn't know that she'd be the first until two hours before she got the shot. And with the simple prick of a needle, Virginia came one step closer to overcoming the pandemic today. It feels good, just like a normal flu shot. Yolanda Dumas was the first in a line of frontline health care workers to receive the vaccine. I feel good, I feel honored, and I also feel the same as I always feel. It, don't, it really didn't pay too much effect to me. Governor Ralph Northam was also in attendance and thanked Yolanda for her effort in being the first. He also addressed who would be next in line to get the liquid gold. Obviously, our our essential workers, our teachers, our, our individuals that, that work in food preparation, uh, our first responders, all these individuals, you know, uh, they need access to the vaccination. And then after that, the general population. Sentara got its shipment of 11,700 doses of vaccines yesterday morning. The doses will co almost cover the 12,500 priority frontline health care workers at Sentara. These shots are not mandatory, but health officials said about 85% of workers said they wanted to take the vaccine. Tara Lincoln also got the shot today. She says she's happy to be a part of history. At first, I talked to a few doctors. I did a lot of research and decided to get the shot for my family. My dad's high risk. And I want my kids back in school and I want life back to normal. So I feel like if I can do my part to make that happen, it's exciting. Now, this is a relief to frontline health care workers who have been battling this disease since the beginning. Coming up on Wavy News 10 at 6, you'll hear one woman's testimony. But for now, in Norfolk, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.